Kyle here. We're uh, we're hopping into the middle of the uh, cap tag title match uh, for February. So NWO is down. The defending champions down one to two to Carolina Gatekeepers. Um, Carolina Gatekeepers going for their first shot at a title as a team. They're a new UBA team this year. Ooh, great spare try there by Miranda Edmonds. So tight match. Uh, like this one's you know within single digits, but NWO's down. So so a little bit of an upset potential here. Absolutely. Yeah, we're over here. We're out here in Salisbury at Woodleaf Lanes, and uh, yeah, two-one Carolina Gatekeepers currently. And quite a few opens on the board for both sides this game. So yeah, this could this, go any way still. Yeah, we we have been watching. I know we're hopping into the middle here, but we have been watching this match uh, while we looked at another, and definitely oh. seems like we've got got some spare issues, we've got some split issues. <laughs> Yeah. Not easy to uh, to fill frames, so. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Now that we're uh, now that we're introduced here, I want to take a second. I want to take a second to get um, Randy McWilliams. Randy is the mouthpiece for NWO, the mouthpiece president owner, big yeah, hoo ha. I'm it, man. So it's it's gotten a little quiet down here, Randy. It is. Tell me tell me what's happening. Right, we're making some adjustments to get through it. You know, just trying to. Get everybody lined back up, and then we'll take care of them back here. All right. I'm, I'm looking forward to some noise to finish oh, this match. Oh, 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 hey, welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Almost on cue. Carolina Gatekeeper yeah. 7 10s yeah. as I ask for hey, some what? noise, and Randy People delivers. 8 0. Because you know why? Because he's selfish as shit. Him and, him and both are both are selfish. 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 Oof. Hey, practice your strike shot. <laughs> practice your strike shot right here. Yeah. So. All right, sir. Peanut Gallery. Yeah, we, we always love you, Randy. I know. I, I have fun. It's all, it's all fun. Shit, man. I told you. What did I tell you? I don't think that got past the arrows. Did that get past the arrows? I don't think it did. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did we we speak that into existence, but that was a pretty pivotal 7-10. Yeah, I mean, was. he had a chance to double there and take a lead in the match. Remember when we said it probably wasn't the last we were going to hear of Randy? Yes. We were correct. I will say, while this, this may not be a uh, strike fest, it is nothing but entertaining when Randy is <laughs> in the building. And one. <laughs> Tell you what, it's, it's uh, pretty under uh, undervalued, underrated, you know, how good having kind of that that noise in your corner is you know I know it from experience that just having some noise is, is kind of a game changer sometimes you really get the other the other side to, to squeeze it on yeah, occasion for sure well that's a good shot right yeah, there what a response you know yeah. it's a big double yep opponent seven tens you go up there and absolutely pure a double Another great shot. No doubter. It's massive. That gives them a very, very healthy advantage here. Are you seriously leaving him in? Are you seriously leaving him in? You guys do not want to get this game. Hey, see, I'm helping you guys. And you gotta wonder. You gotta wonder, ball in hand, you know, Randy makes a little noise. Had to put the ball down and reset. Did he did he get to him? Or are we just really overthinking this one? 
We got a little gamesmanship going on, maybe trying to slow slow the peanut gallery's roll a little bit. Something. Is this the equivalent of taking a re-rack? <laughs> I think we're like three re-racks deep at this point. We're taking a lot of time for this one. You know, NWO, I know we, I don't think we have the scores up right this second, but NWO has a max this game. They have 72 in the fifth, and the three bagger up could punch for 222. Uh, you know, gatekeepers, you know, talking through this one. They've got a so spare in the seven. Can punch for 190. So, you know, they're they're down. They have to make a run here this game. They are up 2-1 in the match. So. They are. Yep. But going up 3-1 versus being 2-2 is quite different oh, situation absolutely. to be in. So that swing gets much looser when you have two free games to play with. Exactly. So it looks like after after all that after all that deliberation, not only do we have a ball, we have a bowler change. Bowler change, and he was on the wrong way. Yeah, we took five minutes to decide to tag. <laughs> but looks like the right decision. Back <laughs> looks like the right decision. Hard to argue that. <laughs> A really good shot now that's a yeah situationally again great double great double now you, you still leave that 190 alive you really make them show up here yeah. it's going to make them at least a one more to shut them out whether it's in the ninth or double the tenth it's a big strike yeah 10 back Massive. no downer Not quite over, but almost over this game, making 2-2. What's he need here? Count? Yeah, I mean, they have 222 left. The spare is 2-0. They only have 190, so, yeah. Good count. Good count. is an absolute no doubter. She's ice cold, dude. Yeah, I mean she is pure the last three shots she's done. She threw that first one in the tenth game one that she needed too. Sounds like a good time to throw in the house to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty good. Looks better than it did on three and four, that's for sure. That's definitely for sure. <laughs> All right, so we're tied up here, 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. NWO won the first one. Gatekeepers got the next two. NWO game four. I definitely expect Randy to, to pump up the noise in the background here going into game five here. For sure. Is do the commentators get around as well if this five pin is missed? Because we're ready. <laughs> yeah. I would definitely appreciate a round. <laughs> I know you all can't see us, but our hands are up. Oh! 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 
less less exciting than it looked. <laughs> Hook a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, I am still thirsty. <laughs> what? Somewhere. I don't know what town. All right. Everyone should take 88 up there. I don't know what's happening. So that fully concludes that fourth game. 2-2. Two -two. NWO Carolina Gatekeepers. All right. 2-2. Two -two. NWO getting her started. Game five. Ten back. Ten back. Such a simple game. Yeah. Left handed, that's why. <laughs> I only know one person that overcomplicates being left handed. <laughs> I'd say something to risk offending lefties, but none of you like me anyway, so <laughs> say what I want. How's the left? <laughs> Right. Good shot. He matches. What did we get final score there at last game? It was like 190 to 210. Lots of little ish. Oh, uh, no. Was, yeah, they didn't even 190, like 170 yeah. to 210. If I can make a prediction, I think this game takes 230 to win. Okay. I, I think we're amped now. I think we're ready. Bob and Kyle are here. We didn't really get a chance to commentate the on pod. those first couple of games. Or plug the pod. Or plug <laughs> 4 a.m. phone calls. Follow us on Instagram. Coming soon. A little technical difficulties, but uh, we'll be there. We've got a list of hashtags if we want. You know, we got UBA all day, Storm Bowling, great sponsor, Hitman with everything. Yeah, that'll, that'll get all of you annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing that one out there since there is a Hitman match coming up in the next uh, the next segment. So. All right, big double to start from Gatekeepers. Like I said, I think this is going to be a higher scoring game. Ten back. Ten back. Ball goes through the pins with authority. Looks like she's doing what, that Venom? Yeah, Venom. It's him. Uh, I wanted to say panic, but it's not so. No, it's the, uh, the not the, the fatal. Re, the re, fatal. Yeah, fatal, the fatal. Yep. The recoil is the orange one. It's That's been a minute since my my snake ball days. So. Yeah. Little in. A lot. Yeah, little in. She knew it. She knew it. Good spare, spare comments. Staying clean. I don't want to make any spare comments since that uh, seems your last time. In our last match. Also, do want to let you guys know. Stick around for the four uh, four p.m. matches. We actually got three matches at four p.m. Uh, the Vixens match, the Cruiserweight match, and then also the Walterweight match. All belt matches. 
So. Yep, and I'm sure uh, I'm sure those will be right here on the UBA page. I'm not sure if they'll stop the feed, start to do them, but you know, find everything at the Underground Bowling Association YouTube page. Yep. Uh oh. Gave it a good run. Yep. Off his hand, I thought he had a chance to make that. I think the Randy Chirps might be getting to him. Yeah, they have a, a noticeable effect. <laughs> I said there are, especially especially down here in the the Southeast Conference, there are some some notable some notable loudmouths. Randy certainly being one of those. Certainly partial to a couple on my own team that uh, can get the job done. <laughs> Randy's coming back up off a, off a not great shot, but a chance to put some, put some distance. Doesn't love it. Ten back. <laughs> How's the left? <laughs> How's the left? That's such a simple game, though. I mean, she keeps her misses in front of her and still has a chance to strike every time. Sir. Definitely arguable for sure. <laughs> well, she's what? Best lefty on the pair? Best, best lady best on the pair? On the, pair too. the best bowler is definitely <laughs> arguable. <laughs> Maybe even not arguable. Man. That might be a fact. <laughs> I will say it, it doesn't help to always loosens the swing when you're bowling at home. And uh, you know, I'm Miranda bowls league here at uh, Old Wood Leaf, so I'm sure that's helping with the confidence. So yeah. I also, you know, shout out. I believe she shot her first 300 in uh, sanctioned gameplay a couple weeks ago. Who did? Miranda did. Here? Yes, here. Oh wow. So again, a little bit of a swing loosener bowling at home for sure. Yeah. No place like home, dude. No place like home. <laughs> Could be a lot of different buildings for some of us. <laughs> All right, gatekeepers find themselves in a hole. Down about 20. It looks like they're seeing a little bit of an over under, you know, like you, yeah. you get it up the lane. It doesn't want to see it. You get it right. It hooks quick. All right. This match is starting to get a little lopsided. Yep. Still early. We're only halfway through this game, but you can see where a, another double from NWO would would make it very difficult to overcome. All right. Randy's predictions. Follow. He's going to miss it to the right. Aced it. <laughs> Some friendly, friendly wagering happening between the peanut gallery here on the spare. But I didn't want to say anything since we know that uh, the black cloud is a thing. All right, so max score to 77. Still alive for NWO. Oof. Oof. Oh. Almost got away with that one. All right. I could be mistaken and just not been paying good enough attention, but her timing looked a little funny on that one. Her first two steps. Yeah, it looks like she kind of kind of threw it up the lane a little bit. Right.
thought you spare here. You're still in pretty solid control for this game, which she does. Right. So that Absolutely. brings him to a 256 max. And then Gatekeepers is looking 23. at... 223? Or 223, I mean, sorry. 33. 33. So 33? Yes. It's about a 23-pin game, yep. as the monitor clearly tells us. <laughs> that we could have saved a lot of math there. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be the easy way to do things. <laughs> Why would we ever do that? Yeah, we don't make things very easy, so... A great shot in the left lane. Absolutely great shot. So we're going to have a tag coming up for them because she's throwing the first seven. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, so we are getting, for those unfamiliar with the tag format, take a quick second to explain that. So it's a you know, it's a two-person team, and you have to make four tags throughout one game. The bowler that starts a game must throw the first three shots and the last one, no matter where that last one occurs, or else you know you, you kind of foul and forfeit the game. But right. four tags, so your your other player has to come in, no more, no less, but exactly four times. So makes it for an interesting format, a little bit of strategy in play that's a little different from just you know like a Baker game or a heads-up game. So to Kyle's point, we don't believe NWO has tagged yet in the first seven frames, meaning you could tag here in the eighth, back in the ninth, that's two. They have to tag two times in the tenth. So that can get tricky. That means you have to fill the frame, right? So there's a little bit of risk involved, but it's working. I mean, they have a sizable lead. You just have to make sure that you, you, you don't make any mental errors here with the, the strategy. Yep. It happens more frequently than you think. Yep. Yes, to answer Dre's question in the comments, we have moved on from the heavyweight match. Juice swept Ray for nothing. Um, bowled, bowled really well, no doubt there. Never saw it. Yeah, that's definitely. He's also having a tough time seeing it. Yeah, you too know. clean. You think? I'm not the expert here. I, I would say, that ball just went backwards. It sure did. <laughs> Careful spectators. <laughs> the open play bowlers are throwing balls backwards now. <laughs> Back to the match. You know, if I if I am, and I apologize, I don't I don't know these gentlemen's names as well as I should. But if I'm Mr. 2% here, I think I'm just too far left. And that Mr. ball never tried to hook in the puddle. Mr. 2%. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we see tag one. Big yeah. shot. Yeah, big messenger here. Big messenger here. That basically puts this game out out of reach. It's their first tag. So now they're going to go back to Miranda. This for the is two. Ninth. Yep, second tag. No, that's two. Just absolutely no doubt. She is throwing it very well. She sure is. Clearly showing that she is, you know, has the best ball reaction of the four bowlers. Agreed. It does not look like it's fun to be a right-hander in this pair. I wonder, I don't know if you've noticed, but you know, the right-hander on NWO is throwing a UC3. And while Causing it's not- a carry down. Yeah, while it's not traditional urethane, you can have a little bit of an effect with that, you know? Oh, absolutely. Especially where, I mean, we're in game five, so. Correct, so if he's been doing it the whole time, which he may be, you know, we 
didn't quite get a chance to, to see the whole beginning of the match. Now we're in that situation where they get a frame to make some guesses here. Absolutely. We'll say if nothing else, gatekeepers have been uh, deliberate <laughs> in how much time they're taking. Agreed. He has also tried to go in the wrong lane again. I'm not sure he knows where he is. He doesn't. <laughs> doesn't have two percent of a clue where he's at, dude. <laughs> oh. Little ball change there. And moved right, and it looked significantly better. Yeah, it's quite a bit better. Does he know he's still on that lane, or no? <laughs> Looks like we got a handle on the, <laughs> the happenings here. There's your third tag. Yeah, it looks like they definitely they definitely had things under control. Just rare to see seven frames go by before any tags in this format. But right, yeah. Now all they have to do is make sure that Miranda throws the last one. And they're fine. The left is very good, Senzo. The left is very good. I did say it would take at least 2.30 to win this match, Kyle. And here we are, 2.56 if she fills it up in the fill. Yeah, I was expecting it to be a little bit closer, though. It didn't take 2.30 to win the match. <laughs> to be fair, 180 would have won the match. <laughs> you are absolutely correct. So NWO, after winning the first one, dropped two to the gatekeepers, but have now won games four and five. Yep. And don't look like there's any stopping. It's a big game, 256, 175. Absolutely. Especially in the tag a lot format. Too a little. Tag's so unique that you know it's 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 not it's not just like throwing 250 on your own. It's not like a Baker 250 where you only have to see one lane. Right. It's there's just some strategy involved here. 250 is a big game. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, kicking off game six. K keepers gotta win this one to stay in it, tied up. Ooh, big break. Got big away break. one there. Happy birthday. <laughs> and also, as you spoke about the format for the um, tag here, um, you do have to have each bowler on your team start opposite games, correct? Correct. So if yeah, bowler one leads off game one, bowler two then leads off game two, and you switch back and forth to the end. So, Absolutely. So in a seven game match, you know, your, your first lead off is going to have a chance to start and finish four games. So put a little weight on that, uh, that spot. So it's interesting. That was a little bit of a tug for Mr. Gaddis there, and it never hooked. So even being the one throwing that you know, urethane-esque bowling ball, he's seeing a little bit of that push too. Oh, 
Oh, gets the wood. Gets the wood. Team player. <laughs> I know we already started this one, but uh, what do you think it's going to take to win this one? You know, early look, I think I think the bolters that are leading off for their respective teams are the less lined up of the two, which tells me the score is going to be a hair lower. Right. I still think it takes two team 220 to get it done. I don't see them you know, down the stretch. I don't see them folding. and I don't see a 180 to 170 type game here, but right. I still think it takes a good number. Really good three bagger off what looked like snowball reaction the last game. So, yeah. <laughs> Oof, that one sailed the break point and a bucket. Yeah, same thing. I mean, it's, you know, ball's asymmetric, but it's still still that urethane cover, so you're not going to get a lot of help when you get those in the puddle. Well, good news is that's his third frame, so now you can get that lefty back in there. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> you can get the one that hasn't missed much. Yeah. Send the reliever in. And she's already on the approach ready to go. <laughs> yeah. I, All right. Not sure if this covered. is a team decision or if she's just like, get out of here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I also bowl with a lefty and tag team, and, and we're just like that. Just get out of here. <laughs> let, let me have the left for a little while. Almost, almost rolled it. Almost rolls out the uh, ten of a what well, could have been a high flush split. Sorry, rolls out the seven. Interesting strategy move here. They actually tagged to get the righty to come in and shoot that seven pin. So higher percentage spare conversion. But then you you take your lefty out of play for a frame. So that's another part of the format we didn't mention. Right. Is that while you can tag in the middle of a frame to have your other bullet shoot to spare, they must then throw the first shot the next frame. So you can't just come in, shoot a spare, and sit back down. You now have to you know, come up and Bowl the first shot of the next frame at least. Right. Thank you. And another interesting gamesmanship note you know owner ceo president mouthpiece randy is uh seen back here hitting some surface to some of his bowlers bowling balls in game six which is totally allowed because this is not usb sanctioned Good shot. Gatekeepers yep, bouncing back from that loss. Absolutely. They got a chance to take this to game seven. Oh, look at 
that nice fresh surface going down the lane. That one didn't hesitate to hook, did it? Sure didn't. <laughs> Just got eye contact from Randy. I think he learned that from me, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I think he learned that from me. I got a little point. <laughs> he, he remembers the NWO Bowlers I went through in my title run, because I did that a lot. <laughs> Ooh. That's a big split in that situation, too, because you, know, you had a chance to make a run here coming off his strike, and now you're almost, almost giving this game away. It's funny, you know, people see that as a lucky make if that were to fall. That's probably the closest thing to a textbook conversion as you can get. Because short of a bounce out of the pin deck, you know, out of the back, there's real no other way to make that, right? All right, so NWO after that open is looking at a 215 max. Gatekeeper sells 278 on the board. So quite a big lead, but a lot of game to go. And a great shot there to keep it going. Yeah. That one saw it. Saw it right. Saw it correctly. Absolutely. Haven't mentioned in a few minutes, but big shout out again to Storm Bowling for sponsoring, you know, the Underground Bowling Association and everything they do for everybody here. So, you know, huge supporters of, of the UBA all day. This one's uh, a little lopsided. Yeah, the other way this time. <laughs> right, it's looking the same thing as last game, just the other direction. Yeah. And for those of you tuning in, it is three two and W O. With gatekeepers Much having a shot. pretty Much stout shot. lead in game six to try to take this to seven. Almost another big split. Yeah, you know, and Miranda has went from absolutely locked in to what, one one real good shot in the last four or five. So Looks like a missed spare too, so this game is a hundred percent over. With gatekeepers needing to just count in the next, you know, six or so shots to shut out an NWO. So that means we're going to game seven. shot.
Gatekeepers is a Deep South team, since I don't, I don't know their home house off the top of my head, but I know they're Deep South. If I were to guess, it's Georgia area. Yeah, bad break, seven ten there, but this game is still way in hand. It doesn't really change any outcome here, so. shot there from Miranda. Looks like she's getting lined up. And thank you for that. Anchor Lanes, Columbia, South Carolina. So I, I, I thought they were a little further south, but they are right in that Columbia area with a couple other UBA teams. the spare up to take this game to 160. Said gatekeepers already at 199. So, like you mentioned, definitely 3-3. Taking this to game seven, all the action in one game. See if we get a little noise out of uh, team owner Randy for game seven. Short of a 7-10 in the ninth there, that was a pretty commanding game, you know, compared to what NWO threw it at them. So hey, you gotta, if you're, if you're gatekeepers, you gotta like your ball reaction right now. Just, you know, rally back after dropping two in a row. You, know, you had a 2-1 lead at one point, fell back to 3-2. To Them in the two teens. You did say two teens, two twenties. Yeah, the only thing that got me there was a seven ten in the ninth, or else it was going to be much over that. Yeah. So. But once again, didn't take that to win. Only took one hundred and sixty one to win. As as a fan and spectator here, I, I'm at least rooting for a much closer game this next one. Those last two were pretty lopsided in opposite directions. 2% has been the most lost person I've seen bowl in a long time. Yeah, I don't understand. He didn't know that he was supposed to shoot at this spare. Uh, he also just picked up his strike ball. He did pick up the wrong ball. <laughs> we are moving in the right direction because he's on the right lane this time. <laughs> hey, I remember my first time. <laughs> Andy, hey, we're gonna get you get you kind of loud this game. Is that what's yeah, about to happen? Yeah, I think it's going, it's, going to. it's going it's going to get loud here in a minute. You know, I like these guys, but I gotta I gotta get my team the win. So now, now's the time. Now's the time for uh, it's no more being a friend. No, it's no, no, it's no. go time. They, they they knew coming into this so it was going to be fun. And, and we we they bowled my team last uh, last month, and I, I told them it was going to be a good time. And, and they all they know it's just all good fun. 
Nothing personal. They all they all know. So eh, sometimes personal. No, I'm just nah. <laughs> Game seven. And there is Randy as predicted. <laughs> as, yeah, as predicted, <laughs> the noise is back. <laughs> yeah, you know, I definitely understand. It's it's hard to be real loud when your team's losing by 50 or 60 in a game, but hey, we're all even at the start of a new game, so creep those decibels back up. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good cover. Yep. Especially in a match like this, every spare means everything here. And, yeah, don't want to be that black cloud, but my prediction for this yeah, game. You're not, yeah. You ready for this one? That. First team to miss a spare loses. Okay. All right, I like that. We don't need numbers here, but I think that one I'm mistake make is all going to take. As well, and I think that this is going to come down to the team up last is going to need at least the first one in the 10 for the win. All right. And we saw that a few times early as yep. we started to cover the match, so. Ooh. Ooh, smash set. Pretty good shot. Easy cover. Randy didn't seem as confident in that spare attempt as the bowler, but I think the bowler knew it was falling. <laughs> Shot. Vicious. Yep, great shot. Rap seven. Does look like she's picked her speed up a little bit. There, that last game, you know, a couple shots went high. It looks like her adjustments to just throw it harder. Right. Which makes sense. That's how most lefties adjust. Right. Let's not <laughs> jump in. <laughs> Don't ball move. Don't ball chase. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you, Senzo. <laughs> uh. Good spare. Very good spare. Yep. All tied up. It's exactly what you want to see. And if you look at it, total wood across the board. I know it's been 3-3, but it's there has been no major jumps other than the, actually the couple games were big jumps but they both had those so oh, they're within 20 pins of each other nice. after six games yeah no it's i mean they've both thrown some punches here right. not a great break there from randy that was pretty good shot had a messenger that had enough length to get there and just got blocked So you got NWO losing is what you're saying because you said first team to miss a spare. That's how the prediction would work out. And that's a big spare miss. I mean, it is. like you got to think that's one of your easier ones, you know, shooting cross lane and. Especially for ace and a seven pin. Seven for a lefty, a seven pin is usually the problem. She aced that seven yep. pin. Now I mean, let's see if gatekeeper smells the blood in the water and can throw a double on here and really distance themselves. Looks a little in. A little in, but he's been kind of playing three, there the whole time. He's kind of got a little bit of, yeah. oh, well, I should say a little bit. He's got a lot of the tilt and just kind of spitting it up <laughs> to the puddle, but it's certainly been effective. His good shots have been pretty good.
Ooh. Looked like he was a little more forward with that one. Didn't quite get that one to <laughs> kind of spin to win. It's pretty, pretty plaque there. Flat yeah, pretty, pretty flat ten. But yeah, this is this is a huge spare. You know, you just saw your opponent give you a, an opening. You can't get it back. <laughs> Randy's in the back here yelling that he's gonna miss. Oh. And he did. Oh, that makes this pretty <laughs> interesting here. Oh, yeah. Like I said, that's that's what you can't do. You, yeah. you, your opponent gives you an opening, you can't give it back. So that brings it right back down to just about an all-even match again. So. Looks like NWO is going to stick with the lefty here. Yeah, coming coming off of wrap seven, below or ten miss. You can't really take her out yet. It, it's tough. She's done some really good shots. They needed it today. Right. Ooh, got that one a hook that one. and trips a six pin. A little slower. Comes in high. I can't think of any catching catchy rhymes. It's tripping sixes, and I got nothing good to follow that one up. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> Don't quit your day job, dude. <laughs> oh, I wish I could. Oh, man. Yeah, you're not a rapper. Dude. You're definitely not a rapper. <laughs> oh, good shot there. Big hit. Mixes him up. Gets that big five, hit. Seven out of there late. I don't know if there's any rules about this, but Randy's now in the said T talking trash. <laughs> Another good shot from the righty. That shot was 10 back. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's explaining what lane he's on. For those of you watching, <laughs> Randy's currently <laughs> mocking them for how they huddle. <laughs> All right, 2%. All the heckling happening right now. He's on the right lane this time. That is good, though. I mean, it's a great start. Throws a double here. If he throws a double here, does he silence Randy? Does there, no chance. Maybe for a frame or two. He likes it. Oh, oh. the late, late kick of the seven. All right. Definitely seems more like the strong silent type here. He's not giving it back to him much. He's talking with the ball. It's a big shot. Absolutely. Ten pin match. We're sticking with the lefty. Yeah, she's coming off a, a trip six pin on this right lane. We're not sticking with, actually. We're switching back to the lefty. I'm sorry. Oh, and that's a good shot. It was a great shot. Ten back. They did make the shift. They did make the change last frame on lane <laughs> one. I forgot about that. Great question in the comments. Yes, Senzo. Woodleaf did a lot of remodeling. Brand new chairs, brand new ball returns. All it uh, took was we, one person banging their knee on, <laughs> on a piece of furniture, yeah, one injury. and now they have all new chairs. Yeah, I know. We love this place. They're, they're great to the UBA. I said huge supporters of everything that is underground bowling. It's a big shot. Oh. oh. Everything but a five. Beverages. Beverages. <laughs> Getting thirsty. <laughs> a lot of arms going up in the crowd. <laughs> 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 Thank Sorry. you, Juice. Heavyweight <laughs> champ's got his got his arm up.
No doubter. No beverages. No beverages. Still thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is a big miss because that puts gatekeepers back in the driver's seat here. Sure does. Going into the seventh frame here, I'm still liking my prediction of one of the teams needing the first one. It's tight, absolutely. Oh. oh. Gets that one to roll out. Tripping Trip. fours. I still don't have any good rhymes for that one. <laughs> what do you mean? Fours is a good one. Nothing I rhymes. You say that. Nothing rhymes with fours. <laughs> All right, they make the tag here. They go back to 2% on this left lane. That's a quick Looks shot good. He's yeah. Wow. He's got some confidence. No doubt. I almost, <laughs> I almost wondered if Randy got a little noisy before that shot. Does it have the same outcome? That right. was massive. Yeah. Now NWO looking from behind. Oof. And. If you're going to do it, that's not the worst place to do it. <laughs> I, tried to get him, I tried to get him to say it, but he wouldn't <laughs> say it. He let that go, and I think he was worried about that spare, but it, it, it was no doubter. <laughs> All right, so... That's how I feel every time I shoot a spare. <laughs> I've, I've seen it. <laughs> Going to the ninth frame, NWO can punch out for 224. Gatekeeper still has 247 on the board. So this is crunch time now. Ooh. The big tug gets away with what could have been worse, but I mean, you've got to have it at this point. Did not look comfy there. They make the tag for the spare, which is interesting considering she, she just missed, missed the seven. Ten, I was thinking the ten, the ten, ten, ten pin. Yeah. yeah, yeah, thinking that. But covers that no problem. The gatekeepers at this point kind of just has to walk the dog home. I mean, Phil frames here, and that's your new champion, but that's easier said than done. Right. Like a pretty good shot. Ooh. I like that more than I think the result ended up. I thought it was going to be pretty good. Almost high flush 410. Gets lucky, gets a four out. <laughs> Randy doing everything in his power to will a miss here. And it's it's right in. Yo, Kyle, how's my prediction looking on the first spare miss? Better than my prediction. <laughs> So what do we need here? Just a filled frame, is that right? Gets him to 216 compared to 212. So like eight spare eight or so does it? Yeah. Sorry, nine spare eight, eight spare nine. Some fill of 17 with a... <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh-oh. 
So now, on, now you're in the position where you have to make a 10 pin. I hate this for him. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I've I know. I've seen you shoot 10 pins. It's back not back good. Back-to-back 10 pins and eating them. With a, with a Randy McWilliams in your ear. And he did miss one or more earlier. Make a 10 pin for a belt. It, and he missed it. And all missed over it. Okay. All <laughs> over it. What are you worried about? He said ice in the veins. Now, now it's good count. <laughs> Does matter here. Seven or less. Five, yeah. And NWO Five, still has a chance. All right. <laughs> Randy said six. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> and your new champions. <laughs> guys the new champs i heard you say you went through two nwo teams to get here oh yeah get your belts yeah you need those <laughs> how's it feel to have the lumber feel good feels good man it was, it was a long road to get here we knew today was going to be a battle shout out nwo man they, they they got a squad both teams they got in this divisions got a squad but we we, we said it's probably go seven and we just try to make shots man and Try to push him. Hey, I noticed um, we gave you a hard time a few times. You ended up on the wrong lane a couple times. We were giving you a hard time, but it worked out. Was it the game plan? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I just follow suit, baby. <laughs> well, that's awesome, guys. New team. First time going after the belts and get them. First year. That's keep a shout out, man. New team in the South, man. So let's uh, keep it going, man. Keep it going. <laughs> 